What's happening YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I am having a fantastic day. I appreciate all my new subscribers. And uh, today is going to be something special. Now this is going to be a very advanced topic. And I'm going to teach even some of the experts who have been doing this for 5, 10, 20 years who still don't know how to pull this off. And that is successfully controlling your KH indefinitely without having a pH crash. Now, if you see this tank, it is loaded with tons and tons and tons of logs of birch wood that's not even treated. And I didn't treat it. I put it straight in the tank. So, you want to learn how to control your KH and never have a pH crash and lose complete control of your parameters, you're going to need to start from the very beginning with your water. Uh, start with purified water or RO water where your carbonate hardness is zero. Then you're going to start using buffers. Now there are lots that you can use, natural buffers, and you can even buy uh, synthetic buffers. Those are expensive. I prefer the natural ones, and there are lots to choose from. Uh, aragonite, uh, crushed coral, um, there are even rocks like series stone that, that uh, will do it as well. For me, I have found what I like, and I'm going to show you. Ocean Direct Sand. Now, this isn't very expensive. It's a few bucks for a five pound bag, which is more than enough to last a lifetime for a tank like this, because yes, you will be having to check your carbonate hardness every day for as long as you have to do it. So, the reason I like the Ocean Direct Caribbean Sand is for several reasons, because it doesn't just control your carbonate hardness uh, it also has uh, other benefits that I like. Uh, magnesium, uh, potassium, iron, calcium, etc. A lot of beneficial stuff that your plants will enjoy. So, you've got your purified water, your RO water in there. And I'm going to show you how you're going to start it off. Now, this is going to take you months before you can even put animals in here because you need to understand this first. In my HOB filter, I have a mesh bag here. All right, so day one, when I set this up, I put a couple scoops of this sand in there. Now, every other day, I would steadily add a tiny a bit, a tiny, tiny bit more until I noticed that my KH no longer dropped and it became steady. Now still, I test the KH every single day thereafter until it drops again. And then that time period will give me an idea of how much will last for that amount of time. Now, get to a point where you know how much will last you at least a month. But still, you will need to check it every single day because this much wood is going to take months, could take years. Time will tell. But never disregard your carbonate hardness. And it is often ignored uh, in the hobby, even by experts, and that's because they never really consider it important until they, they experience a pH crash. I've never experienced this because I got to a point where I fully understood it before I started doing any kind of stuff like this with uh, natural wood. I mean, driftwood's another story, doesn't affect it as greatly. Because all this natural wood, at first, for the first few weeks, every single day it was dissolving copious amounts of carbonates. So, how much do I have in this bag right now? I don't know. I do know right now that this current amount lasts about 20 days until I have to add more, which is fine. 
So I'm going to put it back into my HOV. All right, so now to get back to it, the amount of acids dissolving your carbonates once you've gotten steady will also decrease over time. So you still have to check it every single day, all right? Because it's going, it'll uh, dissolve a bunch, and then you'll get to a point where it'll dissolve only a little, and then a little, and then a little, until eventually you will find a point of indefinite stability in your KH. How long would that take? I don't know. But if all you have to do is devote 60 seconds of your time at least once a day for as long as it takes until you've gotten there to test your carbonate hardness with you know a liquid tester something more precise than a paper tester so you have a a good idea so like i said i can't stress enough to not ever disregard your carbonate hardness and have it be your priority priority over everything else nothing else matters when you're dealing with this much wood okay and don't even think about animals for a long time until you can at least keep it stable for a month uh, you know but like I said you'll still need to check it every day and adjust the amount accordingly I can't I can't tell you how much that will be you'll have to do that that part on your own and never ignore you know the carbonate hardness that's it that's my biggest advice always check it every single day until it, it is no longer an issue and it no longer affects it period whether it's uh, dissolving massive amounts little amounts but you will never be done until it never dissolves any at all again once you've gotten there You'll never have to worry about your birch wood or any other wood that isn't poisonous, you know, uh, period. So, for all of you experts or longtime hobbyists who have been in the dark and are scared of situations like this, I hope this helped you. And, well, it will. And if you don't understand it, watch the video over and over and over until you do. Um, because I just explained exactly what you need to do. You're going to have to tamper and adjust and create your carbonate hardness and control it for as long as you have to. So, I know this video is a little bit more serious and I wouldn't really crack any jo jokes, but I wanted to get my point across. And there aren't any, there are very few situations uh, with any objects that you deal with that you can't find a solution to create an environment that is okay for your animals. So, if you have any uh, questions, feel free to ask, and I will be happy to discuss them. Maybe I didn't mention something, and you're still confused. And I will uh, talk to you as long as I have to, until you get it. But it can be done. Birchwood is not the end of all. You just need to know what you're doing. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. And if you're having a bad day, you're feeling down in the dumps, get up and do something about it. We'll catch you next time.